engine in which is going to remove any moisture from the air um, this is just water in here so this will be water and air here I have salt water and air so I've just some, taken some water and added some normal salt to it and this is water only this is boiled cold water with a layer of oil on top to stop any um, air getting in and to each of these I'm going to add two different nails I am going to add a normal um, iron nail and I'm going to add a galvanized iron nail. Now the galvanized iron nail has a layer over the top of it. This is of a different metal and the idea of this different metal is that it's going to stop it rusting. So two nails going into each condition. And I'm going to leave these here for a few months. Um, I'll check back in periodically with them to see what is happening. And then I'll show you the results right at the end. So day one, um, we can see that the air and the drying agent look pretty clean. But the one in salt water and the one in water have already started to go quite rusty. This is quite a um, surprise. I didn't think they would go rusty this quickly. And then the one over here in um, oil and water, you can see that that smell, hmm, hmm, maybe, but maybe not. So you can see that the one here in salt water is really starting to go quite rusty, whereas the galvanised nail in there as well isn't. Day two of our experiment, and you can see that the nail in A is starting to go a little bit rusty, maybe a little bit down the bottom there. Um, the air in the drying agent looks clean and shiny. In the salt water, it looks, well, pretty manky now. And again, in water, it's starting to go rusty. The one over here in water only looks pretty clean. Maybe a few little bits in there, but nothing compared to these two over here. Here are my nails. It's been a few months now. We can see the air one is looking a little bit tarnished. The drying agent is looking very shiny. The salt water and air, that is just full of rust. The water and air is looking a little bit manky and then the water only is looking okay over there. I'm going to get those out and show them to you all properly. So here are the results. You can see with our air only, the iron nail is, is looking pretty good. I was hoping this one would go actually quite rusty, but I guess my um, set isn't very... Um, humid and then the galvanized nail next to it looks perfect the drying agent again looks pretty good and then the galvanized nail next to it basically no um, rust on there at all now here we have the salt water and air you can see this now looks pretty bad both of these nails look pretty bad um, there is rust all over them you can see that the paper that I've tried to get it out um, it is covered in rust and if you remember back to what the jar looked like what the, uh, the bottle looked like it was full of rusty bits here we have water only and you can see this is just full of rust um, now with the water that I'd boiled to remove the air and then put the oil on top so that um, no air could re-dissolve in it you can see this doesn't look too bad it's a little bit manky but i think that's probably because you've been seeing in water and oil for a couple of months but it's not really rusted if we just go back over here we can look at the galvanized nail and we can see this actually looks pretty good it's a little bit manky but it's not as bad as this nail here which is really really horrible and rusted so from our results we can say that the two things we need for rusting to occur are water and air. So the equation for this reaction is iron plus water plus oxygen turns into iron oxide. Now this iron oxide is this like red brown flaky thing that you see around the side and a common question in exams is about increasing mass now whatever we have over this side of the equation we have to have over this side of the equation so iron oxide is going to have a higher mass 
than the iron before it because it's taken on board some of the oxygen, some of the water that has caused it to rust. You may have noticed in the tube where there was um, salt water, it, it became full of kind of like brown gunk. That was where the iron was reacting with oxygen and water to produce rust. So the nail will get heavier after it has rusted.